status, if he was having money and doing things, he probably kept the same status in prison. It wasn't like he was broken, had to get it. He probably had soups and was living the lifestyle that them dudes was taking care of him on a, he had a status there. So when he came out, he's on the same level. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. But like I said, I had a structure. I had a system. I, I didn't live off of prison. Prison lived off of me. I had a visit every week. Right. My mom came to see me. When I was in San every month I get a visit. Mm. Unless I was in the hole or something like that. So it was a di but when a person has nothing, I got one of my one of my uh homeboys, uh Bozzy. Bozzy been locked up since nineteen sixty eight. Don't have nobody visiting him. His mother's dead, all his family's dead. Mm. And dudes, man, Bozzy is tripping. He, he used boys like women now. He, don't, he went to prison at 16. He never had a girlfriend. Mm. Wow. Does that help when you have people like from, you know, outside society coming to visit? Yeah. Consistently? It's, 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 a, it's a balance. You know, it, 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 once, once you get it and you get focused, prison shouldn't be something you want to live in all your life. Mm-hmm. A man told me one time, he said, Kenzie, you around here running around stabbing people. Anybody like the penitentiary like shit thrown in their face. Wow. But you have people who push their loved ones away for the main fact that they don't want them coming down to the prisons every week because they feel like a, they're putting be, their lives on hold. It, with certain ramifications, it's a humiliation in prison that you come to visit me and they make you take your bra off, they strip search you. Some people don't want that to happen to they people. Feeling, we had somebody talk about that, saying that they be feeling on some of those women yeah, who be coming you know, down there to down, visit. Man, one of my girlfriends, I'm in San Quentin, she come to, came to visit me, but she came to visit as my sister, right? And this guard tried to get at her. And like, he on the street, and he like, raining on my parade. And so he's like, man, what kind of, hey, I want to take you out and this and this and that. Come back, bam. And he goes and tells the visiting lieutenant, and that's not his sister. They're in there kissing, they whoop de whoop de Damn, they got my visits canceled. Got him put off the yard because mm. the raft was getting ready to be real ugly, mm -hmm. you know. And so the visiting lieutenant was cool, like he'll just change his status to this and this and that. But why would you do that? Right. You know, so it's a vicious strand that you have to go through. And sometimes we so not even pretty, we just think you're visiting, but it's the stuff your family have to go through. I want to ask you, because Master P talked about his grandmother going to the prison. So we got a, uh, Master P was talking about that when him and C. Murder was having a is having issues and it, it became a public thing where it was being spoken. He said, man, my grandma going down there, you know, seeing you, we do, we love you, but you know, you for him to turn back now and try, have a little bit of issues of, some sort, but just have you ever been locked up with somebody on a celebrity status that was getting visits in there that that basically was you know like on the level like a C murder, which is Master P brother? Uh, uh, you, I mean, because Monica, that funny you said that about the bras and being taken off. I didn't think about that. That's what that I'm they would have about. to you know for Monica when she would go, she goes to see Monica is a singer, R and B singer. She have to go. I don't know the rules going into. Uh, the the uh, Angola and all those prisons down there, but she has to go through visitation and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was tripping on. I'm like, man, them guards loving the fact that she a celebrity and she coming down there to see see murder. Okay, you see what I mean, I'm saying? But, yeah, but now they have. But when I was in prison, it wasn't women guards. Now they got women guards. Now they got women guards. So it might make it a little in better. the male prisons. In the male, yeah, they prisons. do. Okay, and then you have to submit to a woman coming in, which we didn't allow it in San Quentin. They brought three females in there, Mexicans, whites, and we climbed. We talked so many dick stories that they had to put them up in administration because hmm. it was not going down. They couldn't stand up to y'all. No, no, not that they, they got three shelves. We talking all up under your clothes, all on top of your mama clothes and everybody clothes. And we smelling you, girl. Yeah, you you real loud up in here. Should female guards be um, allowed to be so. in? I, it's, see, 
prison system, I can only speak in California. Texas prison is a whole different. Ballgame. It's, mm -hmm. it's, I was in, uh, in TDC for six months and got, got uh, 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 a uh, bench warrant, which is a P.O. bond, and I got an uh, unwelcome guest of Texas. And matter of fact, y'all, this is the first time I didn't grace Texas since 1969. Wow. The judge told me if I come back so much as get a traffic ticket, I'd do 99 years in Huntsville. Hard time. Wow. And I didn't want to test him because I had 50 other states I could fuck up. I didn't have to come back to Houston. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> But um, they promote homosexuality. Mm -hmm. Because a woman, you can't have naked pictures in your cell of a woman. You can't? No. Because, oh, it offends the female guards. Oh. But you can have pictures of men in muscles, muscle magazines. Oh. Right? Now, they can be all over. But you can't send your, if your husband was in prison, you send him some pictures and a like this and stuff, they'll confiscate the pictures from you because that's contraband. Wow. Mm. That's crazy. You know? Um, mm. Okay, BG comes home. Now he's out, and he's uh, basically has a lot of exposure to a lot of money, a lot of things. He had things before he left, but now it's even, you know, they've been waiting on him. So it's not the same. He uh, He's basically now at a point to where he's, uh, nobody's at that door, is it? No, that's next okay. door. Okay, so he's basically, you know, at a point now he's home, um, he's hanging out. He's in the studio. The readjustment, I think, is gonna take just gonna take some time. You know, uh, with his status, eleven years ain't that. I mean, I don't know what kind of time. I don't know, dude, from a can of paint. Of course. But if he a status, I went to prison with a status, and it never changed. You know, me and all my Compton homeboys, we all came in as a group. It was two hundred and fifty of us for murder in San Quentin. You know what I'm saying? A man told me how to lose that of Joe Louis Sturgis. He said, man, you know, in 1974, he said, Kenzie, I was just looking in the almanac the other day. He said, oh, you niggas in here for murder, man. He said, I, I thought Compton was big as China. <laughs> Find out it wasn't but 10 square miles. I didn't even know that at that time, right? Wow. And he said, damn. And y'all going right back to the scene of the crime. <laughs> he said, shit, when I get out, I'm going back to New Orleans. <laughs> Wow. Why would you go back to Compton, <laughs> where you committed the crime? Wow, you know. So, it's the status. If he was having money and doing things, he probably kept the same status in prison. It wasn't like he was broken. Had to get it. He probably had soups and was living the lifestyle that them dudes was taking care of him on a. He had a status there, so when he came out, he's on the same level. It ain't like he went to the mud and coming out the mud like he did 20 months in the hole and had a murder and he had to do this. So he must have did his time all right to come out all right. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. But I think there's a difference when you're in music because when you're a musician, you don't have, you have something called like an age cap, I would think, where when um, you, you're not using your talents and styles and things and time changes, it's hard for you to come out and readjust to it. No, I mean, it's just like a boxer go to prison, he keep on boxing. If he was rapping, he's probably rapping in prison. I don't know what he was doing. Mm -hmm. You know, he wasn't picking cotton probably, you know? So, hey, man, you got, everybody is dick hustling. Man, you would, man, homie, can, can you get me on? Man, I got this So He was probably producing in prison. Mm-hmm. Uh. Guards is going to want, want to get with him and give him the best job because they they, they don't want to deal with baby too. <laughs> so when you got that plug, you man, the only people go to prison, in, in my little estimate, the only people in the South that go to prison at a time. Now today is a little different because it's some bullshit. Well, they ain't got nothing now. But the only people went to prison at the time I was in prison, going to jail in the South is broke niggas. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.